Most men say that they avoid approaching a woman if she looks like she's in a bad mood or she's kind of grumpy. They think she's just going to be way too difficult. But in this video, I'm going to share with you a very simple technique that will not only turn her bad mood into a good mood within seconds, but will also help trigger her attraction for you too. Hey guys, it's me, Kezia Noble, leading female dating and attraction expert for men. Now, most guys, when they spot a woman in a bad mood or with a mega bitchy resting face, they will either avoid her completely, but if they do attempt to try and speak to her, they'll either try and cheer her up or try and find out why she's in this bad mood. Don't do either. You are not a therapist and you are certainly not her court jester. And plus, this is what all the other guys do. And as with everything I teach, it's important for a man to stand out from the others. Delivering the unexpected and triggering her intrigue is crucial in those early stages of any interaction with a woman. So instead of trying to cheer her up or asking her what's wrong, you want to bond with her misery. And I'll explain exactly what I mean by that. But first of all, I wanna make something very clear like with all my advice, that this isn't just theory what I'm sharing with you now. These are techniques and methods that I have shared many times with my students who attend our programs. So if done correctly, these strategies and techniques generate ideal responses and outcomes. Rest assured that everything that I teach has been tried and tested. So what do I mean bond with her misery? Instead of saying, oh, what's wrong? You look really angry or cheer up or I bet you look much prettier when you smile. You go over to her and you either stand or sit next to her. This is important. Don't approach her head on. Don't look at her and speak to her directly when you do this. Just confidently sit or stand next to her and look out to whatever she's looking at. And then say, this place is really shit. Or you could say, what a terrible evening. Or I can't believe my friends dragged me here. Bond with her misery. Now, in response, she'll either A, agree with you, or B, she'll say something such as, it's not the place that's upsetting her. It's something that happened, or it's just something else completely. Now, if she replies with response B, she's answering a question you didn't ask her, or giving you an explanation for why she's in a bad mood. Information that you did not request for either. You haven't asked her a single question, and she's opening up. If this happens, don't start crying. That's what she's expecting. Instead, just respond with something like, yeah, but the vibe in this place probably isn't helping, is it? You can also make some humorous observations about the place, the crowd, the music, and slowly create a playful us against them bubble. Like you're both sharing a private joke that no one else is in on. Then tell her where you'd rather be. You can say anything here. You can make it extravagant and imaginative, or you can say something pretty mundane. It doesn't really matter. And then ask her super casually, well, where would you like to be right now? So what you're doing at this point is you're moving the interaction away from the negative to the positive. Plus, when she describes the place she would rather be, it will generate much more conversational threads, giving you more material that will help you to keep the interaction moving forward. Now, let's say she does respond with a really mundane kind of answer, like, oh, you know, I'd be at home watching Netflix. Don't regard that as a conversational dead end. In fact, if you master the art of conversation, you'll see every response as a hook and every hook as conversational material. So ask her, you know, what would she be watching? So she tells you and you could respond with, you know, oh, I thought you were a Firefly Lane kind of girl. Or, you know, if she says something a bit oddball, you can validate her on it. I thought you would have said this like most girls. Oh, that's pretty cool that that's your favorite go-to on Netflix. Remember, with validation, always compare her favorably from other girls that didn't make the cut. Now, let's say she replies with response A, where she just agrees with you. Yeah, this place is shit. The next step is to bring it back to you and explain to her why you think it's crap in a humorous way. For instance, I mean, look at the people tonight. They look like they're going to a barbecue. Now, she'll probably laugh and kind of agree with you, but there's a chance that 
she might disagree with you and say, yeah, it's not bad, it's actually the music. And that doesn't matter because the point of this strategy here is that she's engaging. Her barrier isn't up anymore. She thinks, yeah, he gets it, this place sucks. Even if it's for different reasons, you're bonding with that mood that she's in, you get it. Now it is important to make this part slightly humorous. So make your observation witty. So rather than just saying this place is crap or the music's crap, add some humor to it, make fun of the situation or the environment you've both found yourself in. And just like the first example, you wanna move the conversation on, so tell her where you would rather be and then get her to tell you where she would rather be. And then what follows is the same process as the first example. Hey, just a quick message before you continue watching the video. If you want to start getting real results with women and begin living the reality you want, then find out how myself and my incredible team of experts can make this happen for you. After you've watched the video, I'll go to my website, kezia-noble.com, and you will find more information about the seven day mastery program. This is a full immersion experience where you will receive one-on-one -on -one training throughout the entire seven days. Whatever points of struggle you have, we will deliver you the solution. Whatever objectives you want us to help you to achieve, we will do everything to ensure that happens for you. We have been helping men turn their dreams into a reality on our programs since 2006. So we know exactly what to do to get you where you want to be. Every single man who attends our seven day mastery program or our acceleration home training mentorship receives a completely tailor-made experience where the coaching is designed to meet all your personal goals whilst remaining 100% aligned with your personal values and expectations. This is so much more than just a dating and attraction program because you'll discover that all the new skills and insights you gain are easily transferable to other areas of your life and well-being, including your career, social encounters, and your overall confidence. It's time to start living the reality you want and the reality that you deserve. Okay, back to the video. So the conversation would have moved off from the negative to the positive and at the same time, you'd have been creating this little bubble, just you and her, separate from all the other losers who just don't get it. Remember, don't ask her what's wrong, don't try to entertain her, bond with her bad mood, connect with that low level frequency she's on, as opposed to trying to move the dial to a different frequency. That will happen by itself once you've made the connection and shifted the conversation away to something new. So in this case, the energy or frequency or, or whatever you wish to call it will change. But through the process of conversation, rather than forcing a high energy or positive energy onto her, which will not work. Remember guys, you don't need to limit yourself to low hanging fruit. All the other guys are also trying to hit on the girl who's very smiley, who's very up for it. They are all going for that same woman. They're not going for super bitch looking woman. They're not going for the moody, grumpy woman. It's too much effort. And to be honest, they don't know how. So they'll say it's too much effort because they don't know how. But if you know how, then it's not an effort. It's just a few alterations. Once you understand game, once you know which approach, which strategy works in specific scenarios, you'll have far wider choice which means more opportunities that would generate more results. And guys, speaking of results, if you want to really experience real results with women and overcome any of your sticking points in relation to attraction building, women dating, then go to my website, kezia-noble.com and have a look through the options that we have that can help make your dream into a reality. We have the Acceleration Online Training course, we have the seven day mastery program. I also have my online training product and of course my best selling book, The Noble Art of Seducing Women. So if you like this video, please guys remember to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you soon on one of my live events. Take care.